Dame y gaspada. An ultimate bout of the evening in the light heavyweight division, 81 kilos in weight. Sees Anthony Campbell from uh, Light Rock, Arkansas. Dame y gaspada. Well, the visitors go up against uh, Alexander Ganzulia. Well, not to be confused with the London boxer, light welter, Anthony Campbell. America's Anthony Campbell moving up from middleweight where he boxed for the Miami franchise in season one of the WSB. Has a 0-2 record, two fights, two losses. Moving up to the light heavyweight division, now 23 years of age. Красный угол ринга приглашается боксер команды украинские атаманы Александр Ганзуля. Well, the bright young stars and the future of Ukrainian boxing have been on display here this evening. And here is yet another Ganzula, just 21 years of age. A rising star in the national ranks here. A very tall, very powerful young man. Really looking forward to seeing Janzula in action here tonight. A walkover in the first bout for the Ottomans. Ishenko in the lightweight. Comfortable win on points. A unanimous decision for Lazarev in the welterweight. So for Ganzulia, the pressure is off. They're 3-0 up. The match has already been won by Ukraine. But if the knockout could win at the next two bouts, they could still salvage at least one point in their tally. Rather than if Ganzula gets the better of Campbell here in this light heavyweight, takes it to 4-0, and it will be an automatic three points to uh, Ukraine Ottomans and no points at all for the knockout. Well, already this weekend we've seen some impressive performances. Cuba making their debut to the World Series of Boxing as uh, one of the most respected box nations in the world. Uh, have got the better of Mexico Guerrero's 5-0. Italy away in Argentina, got the better of the Condors, 4-1. to one. And uh, yesterday evening, of course, the uh, defending champions, Kazakhstan, the uh, Astana Arlands, uh, had a 4-1 home victory over the Baku Fires of uh, Azerbaijan. Russia getting the better of Poland, the Hussars, 5-0 in their first home match of the season. Чемпион Европы среди юниоров 2008. Чемпион Европы среди студентов 2011. Чемпион мира среди студентов 2012. Чемпион Украины 2012 года Александр Ганзуля. Well, if your Ukrainian's not too good, you can understand that this young lad's got quite a few accolades to his name. Most importantly, he's number one for his weight division in Ukraine. Campbell, the more experienced of the two for the knockouts. The American boxer in the blue corner. Ukraine's light heavyweight comes out of the red. Well, 
It's the Ukrainian style. They give you very little time to settle and uh, size each other up. Aggressively moving forwards, looking to get right down to business. And uh, Campbell may like to showboat a little. But I can tell you, Ganzulia is a hard-hitting, aggressive fighter. And Campbell will need to keep all his wits about him. Oh, well, yeah. Some good straight punch combinations from the American in the red shorts. That's what we want to see from Campbell, some speed, some accuracy. Good body shots from uh, Janzula. Now... Almost chasing Campbell around the ring. But uh, Ganzulia. There's a good right hand over the top. Well, switching stances from Southpaw to Orthodox. Trying to confuse his Ukrainian opponent. Good closing ten seconds from uh, Ganzulia. Well, some good combination punches from both boxers, but. Uh, Ganzulia just looking the more aggressive, the more hungry of the two. And that can often give the judges the feeling that his punches are more effective. For me, I've got uh, the boxer in the blue and yellow. For Ukraine, Ganzulia up in that first round. So do our judges. Three of the five judges are randomly selected by the computer at the start of the bout. This is the most transparent scoring system in the world of boxing. Campbell looks a little shaken by the aggressive nature that uh, Ganzulia has started this first round. And as you can see, out of the red corner, the Ottomans light heavyweight really wanted to get on with this. to draw on uh, Ganzulia with an attempt to get that counter punch in but he's uh, carrying his guard and his position dangerously low Campbell big right hand and that's the net result of having your hands by your hips and another 
And that has stunned Anthony Campbell. Needs to lift those hands a little, start showing his skills. We know Campbell is a fast counter puncher. in the second round. Campbell needs to change his tactic here, trying to avoid getting caught in the corner, caught on the ropes. Two, three times of asking now. Nowhere to move, unable to pivot out of trouble. That's a better foot maneuver, footwork from uh, the boxer in red. <laughs> Left over the top, the right uppercut, again, a good point-scoring combination from Ganzulia for Ukraine. Blue and yellow shorts, once again moving forward, pushing the American onto the ropes. Second round for me, Ganzulia. Left hook shakes Ganzulia, shakes Campbell, I should say. Well, Campbell wants his opponent to know that he might have been on target, but it didn't hurt that much. The judges have uh, Ganzulia 10 8, 10 8, and 10 9. Round three. Double jab. Just takes uh, Campbell off his rhythm. It's a better start. Change of tactic from Anthony Campbell for USA knockouts. So fast with that step forwards with the jab. Ganzulia and then back out of range. This time to the body. with Ganzulia, trying to wind him up a little, isn't he? But uh, he sticks about his business in almost a regimented style, Alexander Ganzulia. His guard is high and tight. His work is methodical, but powerful and effective. And Anthony Campbell at this point in the third round with just over a minute to go, does not seem to be finding the answers. <laughs> Need to 
see more punches being thrown from the American. And again, he finds himself in that corner. Has no choice but to dive forward, hold on. Double jab, right shot, straight punch combination. Ganzulia again putting more points on the board. A hard-hitting hook to the gut. Very fast, with both the feet and the jab, both at the same time. There's the bell. Third round. Again, on my scorecard here in the commentary position. Comfortably, Ganzulia ahead. Just peppers with the left jab. There's the right. Just drawing, drawing, drawing. There it goes. Perfect timing, excellent range, great skill. Fair enough. Campbell wants to let his opponent know that maybe it didn't hurt as much as he thought it did. But it's about putting points on the board. It's about taking round after round. And as you can see from that, 10-8 scoring. Comfortably ahead. Ganzulia. And starting to dominate. <laughs> Penultimate round. And it looks to me the Americans have had enough. Towel has gone in, it's all over. Three rounds. I have a feeling that Anthony Campbell has said to his corner, I have no answer for this. The towel is thrown in, Ganzulia takes it after three dominating rounds. And Ukraine march on. One bout left to go, the super heavies to wrap up the evening. So far, this has been a flawless performance. And you now know why Ukraine are the favourites for Group A. This is not the start the knockouts were hoping for. President of the uh, Ukrainian Boxing Federation must be delighted with the way his team and athletes have performed. Ladies and gentlemen, and the winner by TKO and round four. Alexander Gazoya!